Hello, my name is Bob Boyce. And I'm Ace Folds. We're here at the Rotary Taste of Metro North. We're here at Reading Memorial High School in the Field House. It really looks festive here tonight. It's a lot of food here, Ace. I know. A lot of food. I know. It uh, should be very, very interesting. In a few minutes, we're going to start inviting people up to our dais here and talk to them about their tables and what they have to offer, where they're located. So stay tuned, it should be very interesting. Yeah, I know, I, it, a, a great array of different foods too. I can't wait to get out there. And taste it. Yeah. <laughs> Ace, look who I found here. This is our first guest and you are? I'm Kristen Morello, I'm the Reading School Nutrition Director. You're better known as the lunch lady, uh, yeah. correct? Yeah, the head lunch lady, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Lunches are not like they used to be when I was a kid. No, they've changed a lot over the past 50 years. Do you have a, um, a, a, a way of, um, do you have a specialty there? Do you have... Um, over at the table? At the table. At the table, we're offering a Tyson chicken drumstick, which is gluten-free and it has no breading on it, and it is baked. So we have a barbecue and a glazed flavor, and we're also offering a fresh spinach and strawberry salad. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, like I said, not the cardboard uh, food that I got when I was in high school. You've changed quite a bit. Absolutely. Do you run into a lot of problems with kids with, with allergies and such? Absolutely. We have lots of students that have allergies, and we make sure that we identify students both on the line with uh, signage as well as on our registers by student. And we also make sure that we work with the nurses to take care of anybody that really needs to have something made special for them, and we'll set it aside. Ace, you know a little bit more about Reading High School than I would. Uh... I, I'd like to know if there's something different. What makes, what makes today's lunch different from what we remember, we old folks? <laughs> well, I think actually what you'd be probably surprised to find is that things are kind of boomeranging back to the way they were with a lot more fresh cooking, a lot more uh, raw product like fresh melon, fresh corn in the cob. Mrs. Ferguson, who's over there, is the Barrows Elementary School manager, just husked corn last week and made fresh corn for the kids. And uh, Mrs. Um, Murphy from the high school manager, she is doing a hot dog bar, so the kids are going to top their hot dogs with fresh produce and other things. And we try to make things a little bit exciting because the portions are smaller. There's a lot less refined sugar and there's a lot less white flour, a lot more whole grain, and a lot more fruits and vegetables. So it's, a, it's, a, it's more of a healthy food diet, Absolutely. yet it's a very nutrition. Absolutely. Diet. It's, it really focuses on making sure that students are taking and offered fresh fruits and vegetables every day, whole grains and low-fat proteins in the correct portions so we can educate them about a lifestyle instead of... Uh, just eating something one day. <laughs> it sounds more interactive too. I mean, it, it sounds like they they actually have to to, to ha find all those toppings. It's, it's like yeah, we try to do that because everybody wants to choose what they want to eat. Nobody wants to be told what to eat. So we try to offer as much variety. Any cafeteria you go to in Reading and Wakefield, I work in Wakefield too. You'll find a, a plethora of fresh fruits and vegetables to choose from. So. You can get as much as you want to on your plate, and fruits and vegetables come free with the meal. Do a lot of your they supplies, your, your produce supplies, come from local vendors? Yes, we actually, um, right now we're getting most of our uh, produce from a company out of Rhode Island and a company out of Boston. Uh, we participate um, with the USDA and the Department of Defense on a fresh fr fruits and vegetables opportunity so that we can utilize um, money that we get from the government um, to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. So it's, it's something we've taken advantage of for the past three years in Reading, and it's working out. The spinach and strawberries came from that program. That's great yeah. to hear. Great. Well, I thank you very, very much for nice participating with the Taste of Metro North. Absolutely. And uh, hearing that the kids are being well fed. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with a member of the Rotary today, Deborah Small. Deborah, you're with what group? Artist Senior Living. And what is Artist Senior Living? Artist Senior Living is a new assisted living community for Alzheimer's and dementia that's at the site where the old Eric's Greenhouse used to be on Main Street in Reading. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. Um, Alzheimer's and uh, dementia is becoming quite an issue uh, of late. Uh, 
Right. Let me see you in. Right. So it's you know it's um, a well needed place for people that have loved ones with um, dementia and Alzheimer's. We specialize in that. So the whole community is geared towards Alzheimer's and dementia. We have four neighborhoods within the community. Um, there are 16 suites in each neighborhood, so we can accommodate 64 residents. And we have a common area where we have a health center, a beauty salon. We have a, um, beautiful walking grounds in the back where Eric's had so much land back there. We were able to develop it to some really nice walking grounds and raised garden beds. For people who don't, have never dealt with Alzheimer's, I have. It's, it's, uh, it's a disease that, uh, well, it, it's as hard on the people taking care of people as it is on the person who has it. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a terrible disease in itself. Right. But to have what Jill's talking about and having those facilities that you have, um, it, it kind of allows them to ease into this. Well, one of the other things that artists wants to be is a community resource. So we've had two events at our community for family members and caregivers that are dealing with loved ones at home or have loved ones, say, in other communities to understand the disease and, you know, help them feel less guilty about because they really don't have the tools to take care of their loved ones. So we want to try to educate them on the importance of getting some help with at home or maybe coming to a community for the, because it'll give their loved ones an opportunity to have a social life and still feel purpose. And that, is, that is a big part of it is so that they still have a social life and they can still, you know, like I said before, I dealt with Alzheimer's with my mother and the idea we, we, we kept her uh, and we worked with her for years on our own, but it comes a point in time when you, it goes beyond you, you cannot right. do it anymore, right. and people have to realize that. Right. Well, you don't really have the tools to do that. You wouldn't expect to be able to fix a pipe in your house. You know, you would call a plumber to do that, because that's what they're trained in. And that's what artists is, where all of our associates are trained in dementia, that's what we specialize in, we don't do anything else. So we really have the tools to bring that person out of their disease and help them to feel like they still have a voice, they still have independence, they can come and go as they please in a secured environment. It's just really a lovely community. We have nurses in the building overnight, which is something no assisted livings that I know of do that. But we feel as though that's an important part of that disease and that population so that they don't have to go out of the community in the middle of the night, you know, in an ambulance and we can really help them and it, support it's, them. It's supplying them with a little bit of dignity. Absolutely. And that is a big, Absolutely. big word there, is it supplying right. them with a little bit of dignity. Right. Well, Deborah, how do they get in touch with you? Well, we're at 1100 Main Street in Reading and our number there is 781-872-872. 1907. We'd love people to come by and visit anytime. We are going to be having a four part series in April on the four Wednesdays in April, and it's for a support group. So we want people that are dealing with loved ones that have dementia, and we'll, one of the um, nights nice, they'll talk about dementia 101 and explain to them about the different types of dementia. Another night it might be um, they'll talk about how to have a purposeful visit with your loved one because. People don't know how to approach their loved ones because they, they have trouble communicating. So it's really wonderful support it's, group. So we'd love everybody to come by on Wednesdays. It's not an age issue either. No, I no. I met a young lady in Boston who was 47 years old, a uh, master's degree in education. She tried standing up in the day as reading and telling people about her problems. And she couldn't read it. And her son who was 13 years old came up and helped her read it. And it was the saddest thing I've ever seen. I know. Well, you know, we're even partnering with um, Austin Prep in town, and we have a, a group of four students coming in from the middle school, and they're going to, you know, work with our residents because some of them have grandmothers that have it. So it's really a wonderful well, company. Listen, Deborah, it's nice of you to uh, combine. It's great that you're in uh, Reading doing all of this here. Yes. And thank you very, very much. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm here with Peter from Winter Hill Bank. Uh, Winter Hill has two locations now. Well, we have two branches in Somerville <clears throat> and one in North Reading. And one in North Reading. Yes, sir. Okay. Peter, you, you, you drew the lucky straw to come to this uh, taste of uh, Reading and uh, such? Well, again, it's, it's sponsored by the two Rotary Clubs. I'm a, a member of the Rotary Club in North Reading, and we teamed with the Reading Club six years ago to create the Taste of Metro North as a fundraiser. 
and uh, it's been a great time. It is a and, great time. Uh, a lot of good food here. Uh, and, Have you been yeah, around it, testing some of this uh, stuff? It's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard not to go back three times. I've, <laughs> I've only gone back twice, but when I leave here, I'd be tempted. Well, yeah. the uh, you sat on Winter Hill Federal Savings, wasn't it? Didn't it didn't, was it originally Federal Savings? Yes, Winter Hill Savings. Yes, Winter Hill Federal Federal Savings, Savings. And then they changed the to Winter Hill, Winter Hill Bank Federal Savings. Oh, yes. just changed it around a little, yeah, a little bit, bit, okay? Yeah. Just and for marketing purposes. Where's your location in North Reading? Uh, three, uh, 264 Main Street 264. in the Shaw's Plaza. Okay. Yes, we're in the middle part of the parking lot. How'd you get in the banking industry? Oh, geez, it was, uh, I graduated college and it, I just kind of migrated to it. No real, no real reason. Migrated to it. No real reason. Same with me, myself. I migrated yeah. to be a corporate credit manager. No real reason to do that. Just kind of migrated to it and everything else. Well, Peter, you're enjoying yourself here. Oh, yeah. And thank you very, very much for being part of this. It's uh, very important that uh, for the Rotary, for the uh, service that they do to the, for the Rotary, uh, to have something like this here. Mm -hmm. So again, thank you very, very much for coming up, Peter, okay. and talking to us. All right. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, thank sir. You. Okay. Hi, and we're here with Jessica Cushing. And your restaurant is Christopher's, right? It is. And where are you located? We are located at 580 Main Street, right in the center of town. That's the one that's sort of Set it back. is set back People a little think it's bit. It's Ash Street, but it's really yep. Main Street. Yep. Right? It is a little bit set back right on Main Street. Yeah. Well, you've been there for a while now, so you have a really established clientele. Oh, yeah. What's their favorite? Um, I'd have to say our homemade potato pancakes. We just started serving a new recipe, so they're gluten free. Oh. And um, we have a homemade pot roast hash that is amazing. And we have a lot of specialty French toasts people seem to like. Banana Foster, Ultimate Cinnamon French Toast. I think those are the popular items. So would you say that you're really more of a breakfast place? Or? Um, I think we're more known for our breakfast, but I think our lunch is just as good. And we also have dinner specials every day that change. Oh, you do? Yes. So, so what are your hours now? Um, it's always 6 to 2 Monday through Friday mm -hmm. and 7 to 2 Saturday and Sunday. And I have seen a line out the door on Sunday mornings. Yeah, Saturday and Sundays Saturday are busy. Yeah. We do do call ahead seating every day during the oh, week. Oh, you do? And the weekends, yes. I did not know yep. that. That's great. Yes. That's, that's wonderful. Oh, yes. So, um, what are you serving tonight? So, we have our famous homemade clam chowder. And we have our homemade muffins, some blueberry, corn, chocolate chip. And some yummy cinnamon rolls. Oh, you do. Yes. Oh, that sounds great. I can't wait to get over there. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you very up much. And talking to us. Thank you. Have a great night tonight. Thank you. You too. All right. Hi. I'm here with Alyssa, and guess what? I brought a prop with me. <laughs> Alyssa, you're from Kelly's Roast Beef in Danvers, in front of the Liberty Tree Mall. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, Kelly's, as I say here, I, I brought a prop of some nice chowder. Excuse me, but uh. <laughs> it is good. That famous chowder. That famous chowder. We yeah. home make it at Kelly's ourselves, so it's a homemade recipe so straight not, out of the store. It's not right out, out of the can, it's nope. out of the store, and it's you guys have a store. chef making this, yes. okay? Now, you have other, other locations besides. We do. We have locations in uh, Saugus, Medford, Revere, and Natick as well. Okay. And hopefully it will expand more someday and be more in this area. <laughs> well, we don't know. We yep. may come up here, folks. Yeah. Stay tuned for the notifications coming along the way. Right. Now, you not only do roast beef, what else do you do? We uh, also do seafood. We can do burgers and hot dogs. We have a, a nice kids menu, so if you want to bring kids in and they don't, you know, like seafood or anything, we can serve mac and cheese, grilled cheeses, chicken fingers, and stuff like that. What's so. the hours? So um, they vary in all of our store at all of our stores in our Danvers location. We are currently open till 11 uh, Monday through Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday till midnight. Wow! But if you're looking to eat um, eat late, the Saugus, Medford, and Revere are all open till three in the morning. So. Three in the morning? Yes. So you Who can have. Who comes in at three in the morning for? You, uh, for <laughs> you uh, would be surprised. For clam chowder. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's uh... at three in the morning. It's more of the chicken fingers and cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. So you gotta kind of lay off a little bit of that. Yes, too. yes. Well, it's interesting. I know Revere is where it started, yep. and it's grown. Absolutely. And it's, it's known throughout the world. Yes. Uh, Kelly's roast beef uh, 
I've heard talk to people in uh, other parts of the country, mm -hmm. uh, uh, North Carolina and Florida, and, oh, and they yeah. say, oh yeah, they I, know love what, it. Yep. I know where Kelly's Roast Beef is. Sometimes when people move down to Florida and stuff, they'll come up and be like, oh, the first place I had to stop was Kelly's, I just missed the food so much. Do you and ever ship any out? We've actually gotten calls, but we don't ship anything <laughs> out. But you'd be surprised, I've had people call and ask us to send them you know, clams all the way to Florida, or you know, chowder to West Virginia, or you know, stuff like the that. The cake so. and good clams down there. I'll tell no. you that much, right now. It's a whole different world. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, it's nice of you to stop by. Thank you very, Thank you very for much. having me. I'm excited and, uh, to be here. Like I said, folks, this is good stuff here. This is the best chowder I've had. Well, there's other chowders I haven't tasted yet, so <laughs> you're up on the line for it. So okay. we'll be going along. Thank you very, very thank much Thank you for so much for having me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Amy Walsh. And Amy, you're with? I am with the Savings Bank. Uh, the Savings Bank. The just, Savings Bank. Just the Savings just Bank. Just the Savings Bank. Where are you located? Uh, we are located, we have eight branches. We have okay. one in, uh, we have two in Linfield. Two in Linfield. Two in Linfield, uh, one in North Reading. Uh, we have three in Wakefield, uh -huh. uh, one in North Andover, and one in Methuen. Oh, so you're, you've got all, is this area covered pretty much? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Was it called always? It was originally called the Wakefield Savings Bank. Originally called the Wakefield Savings Bank. And then and they, when we started branching out, it was probably about 30, probably about 30 years ago, they changed the name to The Savings Bank. So the old timers of, like myself, We'll call it the Wakefield Savings we Bank. Still have, <laughs> we still have some customers that come in and say, is this the Wakefield Savings Bank? Uh, it's wonderful. Yep. Ooh, and we, this is a great time here. Yeah, we've had we've been the um, premium the premium sponsor for six years. Wonderful. Yep. I the food around here is oh, just awesome. to die for. It is to I die mean, for. Yeah, <laughs> I, There's I, so I, much to choose I, from. I, I, I'm gonna be on a treadmill, I know that <laughs> I for <laughs> I'll be at Planet Fitness lined, tomorrow. I have it lined up. <laughs> My treadmill is lined up after this here. <laughs> It's just been great, but the crowd has been great. It is, The yeah. food has been wonderful. wonderful. And you people that help sponsor this thing along the way are just well, tremendous. Just, yeah. it goes we love to do it. It's a nice community Rotary bank. That does a great, great thing for yep. the towns of two towns, okay? Both yes. North Reading and Reading. In Reading, yeah. And it's great that they combine the two here. Exactly. And it's yep. produced a very, very good. Hi, and we're back here. We're talking to one of our service organizations at the group, the meeting. And you are? Dan Hardy from Covanta Energy. And uh, most people don't know where their trash goes. A lot of that trash, of course, goes to landfill, but that's not true here in Reading and North Reading. Your trash, by contract, goes to Covanta Energy. That's the big waste energy fa facility up in Haverhill, Mass. That means that your trash is made into electricity. My job is to ask that all mercury products are taken to the local DPW, where there's a universal waste shed, put those mercury uh, products in there, and that material will be recycled and uh, made into new mer mercury products, again, at no charge to the community. Um, explain that to me a little bit more. Um, you're, you're saying all our trash goes to? Goes up goes to Havel by contract. Uh, your trash trucks must come up to us. Oh. We must charge you a set amount of money. It's all done by contract, a multi-year contract, of course. Uh -huh. And again, this is a sheet showing the picture, but what's most important is on the back of the sheet, uh, then the last line says, you're welcome to come up and tour the facility and see how trash is turned into electricity. There's a telephone number on there. My number is 978-697-2558. Give me a call and we'll set up a tour, uh, whether for a group or you can join a group uh, at a uh, future date. That sounds fascinating. I'd it like is. It's, I've been there the 12 facility. years and it fascinates me every day. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thank you so much for stopping by the booth. Thank you. And for participating in the Taste of Metro North. I, I hope you have. A yes, lot we, of we always come sponsor to the booth uh, Rotary Clubs in uh, every uh, contract community that we have. Right. That's a great. That's great. Very Thanks good. a lot. Hi, and we're back here uh, with uh, Nick, Nick. Yep. from Reading Cooperative Bank, one of our service organizations who's been um, nice enough to come and join us at Taste of Metro North. What can you tell us about your bank and about uh, what you do for the community? Um, we're, you know, we're a small community bank. Um, we're very invested in the community. Um, we spend a lot of time events like like this with Rotary, um, just getting our name out there and helping out um, in the town. Whether it means donating our time, 
our efforts, money, proceeds, um, what have you. Um, it's nice, too, because it's a small bank, so we get to know all the small business owners. We get to help them promote their businesses. We get to know them all, right. all their yeah. employees, you yeah. know, their families. You're small, um, but you seem to have a, a, quite a few locations now. Yep. Where, yep. Where are you? What? Yep. We have, um, we have two high school branches. We have the Reading High um, you have two here. High school branches? Yep. We have the Wakefield Tech, um, that high school as well. We have a branch in there. We have Andover, two branches in Wilmington. Um, we have obviously the main branch in Reading. We have our North Reading branch. Um, who am I missing? Woburn. Woburn and Burlington as well. The two in Wilmington as well. Yep. Yeah. So That's we're spreading great. out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. So you're getting around. Yeah. So. Yep. And um, are you actually uh, in one of the banks? I'm the assistant manager in the North Reading branch. Yep. Yeah. And I live there. I've lived in North Reading for almost 10 years now. So so it's even a tight knit community. It's even more so for me yeah. because they're my neighbors even. People and you I recently see all the time. Uh, moved your headquarters out of the, the Reading location. That's the, right, and we moved to location. yep, and we moved to Walkersbrook uh, Drive How's in that Reading. Going? Yes. How's, that it's going like, great. Yeah. yeah, it's going great. Yeah, it's um, it's really cool when you're in there. Uh, myself, the first time I went there, I was surprised, you know, because it's very. Um, how do you say? Is, is it Google esque? You know, you walk oh, in really? there and oh, yeah. you're expecting stuffy cubicles, and it's not. Um, it's not that at all. It's a very open concept floor. Um, you know, there's coffee, food. I mean, it, it's a nice place to be. It's yeah. not. It's welcoming. Um, yeah. The stuff people we write on the wall is a special wall. You can go up and you can write. You know, different thing. It's cool. It's it's really di different than what what yeah. what most corporate offices look like. I would imagine. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And um, can the public? I is there a reason that the public would go there for any, any We've had open houses food? there just to invite people in, you know, customer oh, yeah. appreciation, stuff like that. Oh, that's good. Have um, people come by, eat, you know, we've had it catered. Um, we make so many, we make changes there. We keep remodeling and redesigning. So, like, every time we do that, we want to bring people in, show now, it there's off. there's no bank on the premises there, right? Not there, no, oh. no, no, no. But um, the Reading Branch, obviously, is the closest one to it. Right. You know, but there's ton, there's there's a there's plenty of banking work that gets done there, that's for sure. Oh, that's yeah. great to know. Yeah. That's great. It, yep. I know the community really appreciates the bank's yeah. presence. So. Yeah. And we love it. So. And I appreciate you coming up to the dais tonight. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. All Have right. a nice. Enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah, you too. All right. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm here with Nick Arkengay. Nick, are you with? Salem Five Bank. Well, it's uh, Salem Five. Where are you located in the area? We are in Reading, across the street from Market Basket, Okay. right next to Jordan's Furniture. All right, and you're a member of the Rotary Club up here. Uh, correct. Uh, one of the sponsors of this thing. This is a great affair. I mean, it is good food, good people. There's some good music out there from the young uh, band members from the Reading High School, and uh, so you got good food, good music, and good people. You couldn't ask for better. And you're in the right community for this type of event. You know, it's very robust. People are very involved. So it's always a good turnout. It's a great community. I mean, it's a very, very active community. Uh, they're very, very active towards other people in the area and other businesses. And it's, it's great. Yeah, that's what I found. This is actually my, I believe, fourth year doing it. So I, I'm really enjoying myself because I come back every year and I meet more and more people. So kind of look forward to it, huh? I do. <laughs> well, the food's so good. The, the food's so good. There's so many restaurants here, folks, that there's, it's just, it's mind-boggling to be, be honest with you. You know, everything from coffee to ice cream to, uh, I notice I stick with the desserts first, uh, but uh, every kind of food you can think of here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Italian, Asian cuisine, delicacies, both chocolates. The both the high school cafeterias are represented here, and I found that to be very, very unusual. I actually didn't know that. Yes, we do. We have the two of them here, and they're absolutely great. It is not the food that you used to have <laughs> yeah. or I had in high school. The I'll little square pizzas? Uh, the little square pieces of cardboard, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's none of that. It's, 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 it's good food, and, and uh, they do a wonderful, wonderful job, as you guys do yourself with the Rotary. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we try to contribute as much as possible to the communities that we serve, and that's really Salem Five's focus, being a strong community bank been around since 1855 so we've been doing a, it a long time are you a savings bank as well yes. yes yep so you're a savings bank as well yep uh well listen it, the small banks are what make this country it's not the That's big guys right. and uh i've said it a lot of times that the uh 
The small banks are the ones that loan out the money to the businesses in the local community, and they're, uh, they're the, uh, the backbone of the community. As the small businesses are the backbone of this country, so. Yes, it is very, very true. Well, listen, Rick, it's very, very nice of you to come up here, talk to us, and I hope you're having a good time. Hey, make it back for five. Thank you so much. It was a <laughs> Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Hi, I'm here with Bob Macbad Jim. Okay, and you're with Laurie's 909. Catering. Catering. Is, do you do just strictly catering Just now? catering now. Just we used catering to be now. restaurant catering. used to be a restaurant a while ago. Yeah, right? well, but, just uh, the end of the last year. And you're located at? 93 New Salem Street in Wakefield. The old train station, am I correct? Oh, no, 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 no. That was 33. See, there's 3393. 93. 93. So that's what we say now, 3393, if we had to go back there. Oh. But we used to be at the train station, hence the, the 909. 909, was, it was that the train? was the train that came in, 909. And plus, <laughs> it was the first song that John and Paul wrote together in 1957. An old Beatles. Called the one after 909. Really? It's very so first it's, song. it's uh, you're connected with the Beatles a yes, little bit. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am old. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about old. Uh, now, what do you what do you cater? You 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 cater a certain style of food? Uh, well, Lori's Italian and her mother. Yep. So it's kind of a really, truly a mom and pop operation. It's Lori, her mother, her father, myself, Michael, and then some volunteers here or there, and we do Italian and American food. So you could you could do the uh, the roast beef dinner as well as the yes, Italian dinner. Yes, that's what we're doing tonight. We're doing carved uh, sirloin and haddock. Carved sirloin and haddock down here. Down here, uh, folks. I'm going to leave you in a couple of minutes because I know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, going down to Laurie's 909. Catering. In the catering. Excuse me, I keep saying it again. That that catering in there. How long have you been down there? Uh, well, the new place we've been there now just under three months. The old place where we used to have, it was four years and two months we were at. Okay, catering is a kind of a, uh, you, you work mostly with weddings and, and private Actually, dinners no, and parties? it's more corporate catering. It's more corporate lunches, catering. Lunches, a lot of lunches. I see, so you're doing a lot of lunches now yeah. for the business community around the area. Yes. Hence, you're down here for the Rotary. Yes, uh, we do the Rotary great. Rotary all the time. Uh, that's wonderful. I Connection with the Rotary, serve back to the Rotary. Listen, there's a lot of food down here today, mm -hmm. and a lot of good, good food. I mean, there's some great stuff. I started out with the breakfast foods first, though. I started out with the coffee, and then I went to the desserts, the ice cream. Oh, things. like I did when I was a kid. Yes, my father <laughs> said, always eat your dessert first, because he says, you'd, if you ate your dinner, you filled up and you didn't have room for the good dessert. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Bob's are good here. Bob's my mom was the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, can I have the apple pie first? Yes, okay, <laughs> why don't you finish your dinner? No yeah. problem, Mom. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, it but, was. Uh, you serve not only Italian, but you serve American type sure. of food. You do a lot of lunches? A lot of lunches. From what size to what size can you handle? Uh, well, we tend to want a minimum, of course. Yes. You know, so we do uh, what special customers who do repeat all the time, uh, we'll do anywhere from 15 up. Okay. But like we're doing the governor's breakfast tomorrow morning. So that's like 175 to 200 people that the Reading uh, Rotary, I mean the Reading Chamber of Commerce is putting on. Okay. So you can handle up to how many people? Oh, well, tomorrow is uh, 70, 175 up. That's great. So you're going from 15 to 175. That's a big difference. Oh, yeah. And it, 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 it's a big, different process all the way along the line, too. Well, it is. Uh, Lori herself worked at the Marriott for about 25 years, and she would handle anywhere from 500 to 1,000 people. At, she was the events manager. At, uh, she opened up the Renaissance in Boston. She worked at the Marriott in, uh, in uh, was it uh, Newton? for years and she also uh, worked at the Westin. Wow. So she is just a, a whirlwind. Well listen, Bob, it's been great to talking to you. Thank it's, you, Bob. Uh, for Bob to a Bob. Uh, <laughs> we're having a good time up here. Listen, thank you very, thank very you, much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Uh, Hi, I'm here with Jenny and Jenny, you're with? Uh, I'm from Sakura Organic in downtown Wakefield. In downtown Wakefield. Yep. And again, the name of the company store is? Sakura Organic. Sakura Organic. Yes. And it's organic what? Organic food, so we do organic sushi, the Chinese food, and we also have a food bar in the restaurant. So because uh, um, 
we believe organic is healthier, so everything we use in the restaurant is organic. The rice, the fish, the meat, vegetable, whatever we can find in the market, it's organic. All fresh organic. All fresh All organic. Fresh organic. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been at that location? We've been there about like three and a half years. So it's it's going a, wonderful, I assume. Yeah, I successful. was down there looking at this food, and in fact, uh, it's, it's quite appetizing, my dear. Uh, yeah. uh, sushi, me personally, okay, I like my fish cooked, <laughs> but I have a granddaughter who loves sushi, and uh, she says it's the best. Yeah, we get a, a lot of customers from Reading, North Reading, Ningfield, Wakefield. So we do tons of delivery and takeout. A lot of uh, customers love us. So uh, we've been very successful that with the very, support very from good. the community. Restaurant business is a hard business, but boy, the people I've talked to here really enjoy themselves. Well, listen, I thank you for coming by and stopping and saying hello to us. And thank you very much for coming down and doing this. No problem. Thank, thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, and um, say hello to Linda Cunningham from Fusilli's Cap Cucina. Cucinas. Cucina. Yes. And tell us a little bit about your uh, restaurant and where it is. Yeah, it's right on Main Street, 107 Main Street. Uh, we used to be Sam's Bistro. All right. We're the same owner. Uh, we took some recipes from the owner's family, my family, Italian, and decided to turn Sam's into an Italian restaurant. And how's it going? It's awesome. Everything's made to order. The meatballs are made weekly. We I fry them all. Michael makes the sauce, the arancini. So we put a lot of love into it. And it's getting fun now. And people are enjoying it. And it's it's really, it's family oriented. Um, we do uh, Kids Eat Free uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, during the day, during the night, one parent per child. Um, the weekends are great. We do fantastic specials. And I can't say enough about it because I put everything into it and I really, really cherish it. So yeah. I think a lot of people would too. It's fun. We have a beautiful lounge and it's, we're, we're, we're in the right your direction. your signature dish is Fusilli? Fusilli. <laughs> and it's homemade and it's outstanding. It is. It's so yummy and it's al dente and it just stands up to all the different sauces we have. And we do a lot of takeout. We do catering. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, a lot of takeout. We do catering. We're looking to uh, deliver down the line too. Um, great. So it's been, it's, she's been good to us, Fusilli's Cucinas. Yeah, good. so I'm happy. What are your hours? Yeah. So we open seven days a week, 11.30 uh -huh. to 4, goes lunch, and then dinner starts 4 to 9 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 10 o'clock Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11. You open until 11? We are, but we're in the town of Redden, so you got to remember that by 10 o'clock, everybody's gone. But, but we get it all before that, and it's, it's quite nice. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's so, great. And, yeah. And um, what are you serving tonight? Do you have a... So tonight we have a homemade fusilli Good. marinara. Yeah. We have our meatballs, and we did some chicken palm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I hope I'll get by the. I hope soon. you do too. All right. All righty. All right. All right. Nice Thank talking you. with you. Nice talking Thank with you me. very much. Thanks okay. And we're back with Kayla from. I'm from Thomas Cal Linfield. At Market Street. At Market Street. Market Street. Yeah. yeah. And it's a great. Um, is it? Would you call it a Mexican restaurant? Or is it's it a, a Mexican restaurant. It is. Yes. And um, you have a specialty that you, that really draws them in? So today um, we brought in our queso fundido and we brought in our guacamole. Um, the guacamole in-house, you can also have um, lobster on top of it. We have lobster guac as an option. And then the fundido, the queso fundido, you can also add chorizo, which is a Mexican sausage. So yeah, so both um, the queso and the guacamole are both vegetarian options. Um, the guacamole, of course, is a vegan option. So we have options for everybody out there. What are your hours there? Our hours are from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. Um, during the week and then weekends are Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the restaurant business and we are open until the kitchen closes at 11 and last call is at 12.30. And I heard something about uh, maybe a wide range of tequila. We have 288 tequilas in-house. I didn't know the word 200. I didn't either until I started to work there but oh it was a really, God. yeah, it's a really fun spot. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Margarita obviously is a big Margaritas, uh, <laughs> yep. So El Hermandor Blanco is our house tequila. It is. Um, it's a really good tequila. And we have a special margarita going on this month. It is El Hermandor Blanco. It's our house tequila infused in habanero for 12 hours and then pineapple for 48 hours. So it's sweet and spicy. It's a really good margarita. Oh my. Yeah, it's a good one. That sounds great. It's really good. Yeah. So, yeah. And um, do you have dinner specials besides what you brought here? Do you have, is, we is have there something dinner, really? We have dinner specialties. We have um, all sorts of enchiladas. Uh, we have a, a really awesome chili relleno, which is um, a stuffed pepper, but we have all sorts of tacos and fajitas as well. Wow, I'm just going to have to make a special trip over Yeah, there. everyone should. It's a good spot. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, and we're back here with Debbie from Kitties. World Famous <laughs> Kitties. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Kitties like we don't know. Well, my grandparents started it with uh, my, my grandmother's sister uh, in 19, we thought 1947, but we've been doing some research and I think it's 1934. Oh my goodness. So, no, wait, 1943, sorry. 1943. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So over 70, 70 years. And, um, you know, it's been in the family. Then my dad, you know, my dad works there since he was 11 years old, and my uncle and my aunt. And then all of us cousins, and was so it it's a family. Was it always so huge? No, it, it started out a little bar room. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So when they bought it, it was just a little bar room, and um, they had a band. They used to have band music yeah. on Friday and Saturday nights, and then they just started to expand and just get away from that, and and just become like a family restaurant. So, yeah. What's so the big dish? Oh God, we have our pizzas are great. All our Italian dishes are great. Um, we have a beautiful 20-ounce sirloin steak that people don't know about, pork chops, lamb chops. We have a great variety, good seafood. So That's great. We have a lot of good stuff. What would you say you're best known for? <laughs> uh, our salad dressing. Oh, World really? World famous. Really? <laughs> yes, our salad dressing is really good. And we bottle it, and we sell it by the quart and the pint. We do. That's so, good yes. to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then do, do you do catering as well? Um, we do. do we, yeah, we, we have um, trays that we sell so oh, for do. parties and, yeah, and parties. Do you have any, do you, do you have functions? We, have, we just functions? redid our function room oh, you did. last year. Oh, that's great. It's absolutely gorgeous. It came out beautiful. So we do a lot of functions. We, we just started doing a couple small weddings. And, um, yeah, it gets a lot of use. How it's, many can you uh, We fit about 150. Oh, that's huge. In that room, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty yeah, big. It's nice, yeah. and the whole restaurant seats seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty. Oh my so. goodness! Yeah, has it ever been full? full? Yes, yeah. on the holidays, Mother's Day, Easter. Oh, that. Oh yeah, oh. Thanksgiving. Yep. Do you take reservations? Yes, we do. We do. Yep. That's so. good to know. And what are your hours? Um, eleven till during the week, probably ten, ten thirty some nights, yeah. and then weekends till twelve. 1230. Oh wow. So that's great. Yeah. So that's great. It's good. Wow. Well, we're all busy. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and what are you serving tonight? Oh tonight we're having some um, our, our salad with our dressing and um, macaroni and cheese and chicken wings. Oh nice. So, yeah. Nice. I haven't made it over there yet. I'll have yeah, to make it. It's of good. It. And we've been participating for the last six years. That would be it's so nice. It. You know, this, I love this. It's event. awesome. It's it really is. nice. It's and I belong to the North Reading Rotary Club. Oh, so. you do? Yeah. yeah so it's a, it's um, great. We, we enjoy doing it. Yeah. So, it's a yeah. Great it's nice to get out and meet everybody, too. And Reading, we do it with the Reading Rotary, so we right. get to meet people right. from there. So. so now I know you're in North Reading. You're right on Main Street, right? Right, right on the corner of Main Street and 62. Okay. Easy so. to find. Yeah, very easy to find. Well, that's Can't great. miss it. Thank you so much. For Thank you. By. Okay. Hi, I'm Hi. here with Arena. Yeah. Arena, you're with uh, Professor's, Professor's Market. Market. Yeah. Professor's Market is where? Located where? On 505 Main Street. Right on Main Street. Right yeah. next to. Uh, In front us. of the Village Carpet B&M Restaurant. And right down the street from us. Yes. Yes. Correct. So, so what is what is Professor's Market? Is it a restaurant? Is it a market? What is it? So basically, we specialize in prepared foods, dinners, sandwiches. So how long have you been there? Uh, we've been there exact one year. Exactly one year, okay. and the Wimsons, I assume, is doing very, very well. 
Best run business is a tough business to keep going. It, it is tough business, but we're doing much better than in the beginning. You in know, the beginning, yeah. everybody's getting to yeah. know you. Yeah. Well, and it's RCA Irene. is the toughest here. It's Irina, right? Yeah. Irina, it's very, very nice talking uh -huh. to you. I thank right. you for coming down to see us, and okay. thank you for coming to the uh, to taste here. Okay. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, and we're back here with Nicole from um, probably the new kid on the block, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> probably the latest. I think so. A lot of people are surprised that we're open already, so we're glad to be here and get the word out. Yeah. So your your the place we're talking about is Roxy's Grilled Cheese. Right. Started out as a food truck, right? started out as one crew truck that changed to two um, and then we opened up our first restaurant in Alston right outside of Boston and we're now in Linfield. Right, right in the Market Street yeah. uh, complex. Yeah. yeah. And how is that going? What's the, how's really well, how's the yeah. reception been? It's been great. We opened in the middle of January when it was pretty frigid and we were surprised by how many people still came out and it was it was a very busy first few like so months for us there. Do you have seating in the restaurant? Yep. And, and we do have quite a bit of seating. You do have high chairs, all that. It's a very like kid-friendly place. Everyone yeah, loves grilled great. cheese. So right. Do you have a kids menu as well? No, but we have our like classic grilled cheeses, and we'll cut them in quarters for the kids. Yeah. And we have our lemonade, which Perfect. they love. So. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's great. And what are you serving tonight? Let Some me guess. Uh, grilled, <laughs> cheese. grilled cheese. You got it. Um, we're doing our classic three cheese grilled cheese, which is cheddar, Munster, and Fontina cheeses. And then we're also doing our hot honey bacon, which is uh, Mike's hot honey drizzled on it with our North Country bacon. Oh, sounds great. It's very good. Sounds great. And um, I, I mean, a grilled cheese is grilled cheese, right? No? No, yeah, we like to think not so much. We make ours special. Um, it's mostly in the bread. We use a really sturdy bread from Iggy's Bakery in Cambridge. Um, it's like a country pan to me, kind of like a sourdough, um, yeah. which really holds the whole thing together. Yeah. And we like to really play around nice. with different ingredients. So that's great. Yeah. What are some of your um, your famous names for? for uh... I'd say our most popular is probably the Green Munster. That, that's Green what Monster. I was thinking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the guacamole and bacon. So. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming by the studio. Absolutely. Setup. Thank you and for having us. It's have been a fun. great time the rest of the night at the. Taste of Metro North. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm here with Aaron Lane, and you're with Starbucks. How could I not miss right? that with the hat on there <laughs> and everything else? So welcome to this uh, this wonderful Thank time we you. have in the States. Thank you. Thank you. It's absolutely great. Have you had a It's chance? amazing. I've walked around a couple times. There's a ton of booths here. It's awesome. I've never been before. You've never been here nope. before. Oh, the food is just uh, everything from ice cream. It's crazy. There's sushi, there's ice cream. And there's coffee. coffee. <laughs> of course. Yes. And where are you located? Where's Starbucks We're located? We're at 24 Walker's Brook Drive. Where? Right near Jordan's Furniture. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. You're up in that area up there. Yep. Uh, we do actually have two Reading locations, and there's a North Reading location. So there's a North Reading location. We are all We've got to get North you. Reading in there because North Reading is part of this, folks. It is, yep. So uh, we have to get you guys in there. So this is, what, your first time here, but it's this not is, the first time for Starbucks. It's, um, I believe it is the first time for Starbucks. Really? At least in my, for, as far as I know, it's the first time, yes. How long you yep. work for Starbucks? I've been with the company for five years. I've been in my current store for about two years. What do you do in the store? So I am a store manager. You're a store yes, manager. I am. The big cheese in the store. Yeah, I like okay, to think so. <laughs> <laughs> so they tell me. <laughs> well, listen, it's great of you to stop by. Thank, Thank you very, you. very much. I know everybody appreciates it. Everybody likes Starbucks. Of Coffee. course. Tell you that yep. much. Uh, <laughs> but thank you very, very much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Rob. Ryan. Ryan, I'm sorry. That's I all apologize. Right. I get the offer. That's all right. The last name is? D. La Richelaire. D. La Richelaire. Yes, okay. Very You're French with, Canadian. Very French Canadian. <laughs> You're with who? I'm with uh, Teresa's Restaurant Group. Okay, you call it Teresa's Restaurant Group. What is yep. Teresa's Restaurant Group? Teresa's Restaurant Group, uh, we have Teresa's, uh, Teresa's in Middleton on 149 South Main Street. Okay. Uh, we have the 20 Elm Street location, which has two separate restaurant concepts. It has Teresa's Prime upstairs, which is an upscale steakhouse, okay. and Grill 19 downstairs. Uh, that is a more pub-oriented uh, food service establishment. Okay. And then we also have 149 North Street in North Reading as well, which is the Hillview Country Club. Uh, we have Tea's Tavern downstairs that ah. just opened this, this week. So, so you do Hill... Hillview Country Club, Hillview yeah. Country Club, yep. okay. We actually just took over that space. Just We're very excited about spaces. it. Yeah. That's very, very exciting yeah. for a golfer as I am. I'm a so, golfer too. <laughs> Guilty. So uh, we get a chance to talk about that. How long have you been down here to this taste? 
Um, uh, well, I've been here for a couple hours now. This is the this is the first one I personally have have been to, um, but I've heard lots of great things. It's great food here. Absolutely. I mean, just it's it's phenomenal. I mean, but, there's restaurants everywhere. You can't stop eating. That's for sure. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I can test it out. I'm gonna be on the treadmill after this job. <laughs> but uh, really, it's it's been great to have people like yourself down here. What is your specialty dish? Uh, our specialty dish today, we have a lot of specialties, that's for sure. But our specialty dish today is a cheese tortellini with Teresa's famous Milano sauce, a little fresh basil and Romano cheese on top. Okay, are you primarily Italian? We, we have uh, an Italian concept in Middleton. We also feature some Italian menu items in North Reading, um, but we are not strictly Italian. No, it's strictly Italian. Right. It's, it's an American Italian cuisine. American fare and, and Italian fare as well. We, we also do functions. Uh, we have a great function facility at all three of our locations. Beautiful. And uh, yeah. Come it's, down and see us. It's great to have you down here. Thanks Listen, for thank you us. very, very much for coming down. I appreciate it. We thank enjoy you for your time. It. Great food, great time, great music, great people. You what know you it. can't ask for better. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi. We're here at the chocolate truffle booth talking to Craig. And he's um, he's got a great display here. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Craig? Uh, yeah, we have a little bit of a sampling of all the different things that we have at our shop. Uh, we have an orange jelly here, a coconut, macaroon coconut needum, some truffles, and some Swiss fudge. Um, we also had tr uh, some fudge, regular fudge, some turtles earlier, um, but they got decimated pretty quick. So uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll I can, I can see why. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah, so we had a good response. This was the first time that we did this event. so That's great. Um, where is your shop? Uh, it's located at 494 Main Street, so right on Route 28. Um, right on the corner of Green Street and Main Street. So. That's great. The baskets are beautiful. Yeah, these are some of the samples of the some of the gift things items that we do in house. Um, we do a lot of custom work, a lot of favors, favor orders, things of that nature. So, what do you have in store for us for Easter? We have lots of stuff for Easter. We're going to have um, a, a selection of all different kinds of eggs. We have a fudge egg, a coconut egg, buttercream egg. We're going to have some truffle eggs. Um, we have a lot of chocolate rabbits, obviously, in stock. Um, foiled chocolate eggs, jelly beans, anything you can think of for Easter, we have it. And we can put a basket together for anybody that might be looking for one. So. That's great. And what are your hours? Our hours are 9.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, we're open from 10 to 5. That's great. Well, thank you so much, you're Craig. You're thank you. Hi, I'm here with Beverly, and you're with Residence Inn. The Residence at Pearl Street. Residence at Pearl Street. Yes. What is Residence at Pearl Street? We are an assisted living community, and we also have um, a memory care unit, a, co a community. So we offer assisted living to the seniors of the community. Okay. Uh, you don't have to have a, a, an issue or a, a, a memory issue or any kind of an issue to be there? Not in the assisted living, but some people, um, you know, they might need help with um, showers or care or... So most people might start with at our community because maybe they're not eating like they should be uh -huh. and they're not, you know, get, staying active. So we they come into our community and we can help them with those needs. You're located at Pearl Street, I assume? Yes. Pearl Street in Reading? Reading, yes. Okay. So that's really great. Um, Age-wise, how much... How many people do you have in there? We have 80 residents. Okay. Yes. And you have to be 70 to move in. You have to be 72. I, I, I qualify, folks. <laughs> uh, so anyways, it, listen, it's nice of you to, this has been great. The food this here. This is great. You have a restaurant here. We have, we have a, our restaurant is, our dining room is like a restaurant. We have quality food, just like you were eating in a you restaurant. You have food here. Yes, tonight. we have food here. Yes. And yes. this is a restaurant uh, type of thing. It's the taste of Reading and North Reading. And it's... This is a resident who brought along their food to show that, hey, they That's do right. have good food. We here. have great food. Now and you got to open it to an outside restaurant. It's too. a good idea. <laughs> it's a good idea. But we also have a meeting room if people want to come into the community and maybe have, you know, a meeting, a rotary meeting, or and we can provide food for them too. Hi, I'm Bob Boyce. I'm here with Cold Stone Ice Cream Creameries. All right. Hi, my name is Matt Kane. I'm the general manager from Burlington. Well, Matt, this is nice of you to come by to this. It's a really good ice cream. I can attest to that. I have some chocolate ice cream in front of me here. Uh, great time, great food. You're the dessert guy. I am. Uh, so the way we do it is we hand mix all of our ice creams on a stone, just like this one I have right here as a sample. 
Um, it's like a granite slab, and it gets frozen, and we just mix whatever you like into it. My favorite is coffee ice cream with a brownie, chocolate chips, a little bit of caramel, and some peanut butter. Whoa, you put that all together with an ice cream, and you, you keep folding it in, I assume. Yep, that's correct. Now, do you make all your own ice creams? We make it in the store, we build the cakes, we frost them too. So you have ice cream cakes too? Well, listen, it's great of you to stop by, and, and the ice cream is delicious. Let me attest to that. Uh, everybody's coming by saying it's great ice cream. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, we're here at the Chatwell's booth, and we're speaking with... Anna McGovern, the dining dire Director of Dining Services for North Town of North Reading. And can you tell us a little bit about Chatwell? Yes. Who do um, you service? We service the, um, all of the schools in the town of North Reading, all of the students' lunches. This is a sample of our catering menu that we like to do, although the students do get um, the fresh fruit, they can buy cookies, we do offer cornbread. Um, this is a cranberry bread that we offer also, and a lot of this uh, we just make on site. This was made this morning, the cookies are made, we cut up the fruit, so it's really a great it, thing. It really looks beautiful. Thank you. Chatwells, we uh, take pride and we really like uh, doing our work for the town of North Reading, and we thank you for inviting me here tonight. Oh. Great. And um, how, how was it tonight? Did you have a lot of, uh, have you, it looks like well, you pr that's pretty That's all much I have out of about 250 chocolate covered strawberries. Oh my goodness. So that was a big hit. All the fruit was a big hit. So we're glad. That's it was great. a good, it was a good turnout. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Hope all to right. see you next year. Okay. Hi, I'm Bob Boyce and you're? Haley Davis from Fuddruckers. Haley Davis from Fuddruckers. That's a weird accent for a New Englander. <laughs> I'm from England originally. How are you doing? We were spud workers. Uh, we are located inside the Jordan's Furniture in Reading. Wonderful, wonderful place to be. Mm -hmm. And what does the spud workers do? What do you serve? Mostly hamburgers? We serve mostly hamburgers. We're famous for our hamburger and our freshly baked buns, which we make from scratch every single day. And our fresh toppings produce bar, which we also make from scratch every single day. That way people can make their burgers any way they like. We have five different sizes and we cook everything from rare to well done. From rare to well done. That's unusual. Most it places is. don't cook at uh, rare. It is. Uh, yep, we do rare to well done. Well, that's nice. Listen, it's been great food here. Everybody said that uh, all the food around here has been just marvelous. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Thank you for coming down, and we enjoy you having you. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Hi. We're here with... Chef Jay Duffley. Chef Jay Duffley. Yep. Jay. From Joe Fish North Reading and North Andover and the Loft. And the, and the Loft. Yep. This is your assistant? This is. It's my son, Dawson. <laughs> Dawson's going to be a chef, I assume. Well, he's going to certainly know how to cook to impress the ladies, but, you know, hopefully, you know, he's a doctor or a lawyer or something like that, right? He's not a cook. Just a, <laughs> it's, it's impressive that you can cook and uh, please the ladies. I'll tell you, you press them, oh, that's all set. Yep. Uh, I often stopped at the loft up there in North Andover, some of the best chowder I've ever had. Oh, good. All right. It, it well, uh, was great stopping by. Well, we appreciate uh, you, you coming in. Join us at the loft and Joe Fish. And we like, I love my fish. There you go, yeah. oh. <laughs> and you're in North Reading also. Yes, we are, yep. We, um, our original Joe Fish started in 2000, the year 2000 in uh, North Andover. And 04, we took over the loft right next door. And then in 2012, we opened Joe Fish North Reading. One of North Reading's right in front of uh, Walmart. Walmart. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, listen, thank you for stopping by. Been a great time here. The food has been unbelievable. That was a great, great event. Great so event. for a good cause. Thank All you. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm here with and you'll I'm Brian Snell. I'm the incoming president for 2017-18 in the Reading Rotary Club. Mike Walbun, incoming president for the North Reading Rotary Club. Priscilla Gottwald, public relations manager at the North Reading Club. This has been great. I mean the food is out uh, excuse me, Rob, I would like to thank you personally for doing this for me, bringing me in this uh, Cold Stone Creamery. Cold Stone Creamery. Creamery. That ice cream is delicious. It was. Thank you very much for bringing them in. My pleasure. The food here has been tremendous. It has been tremendous. We um, we had a committee of, what do you say, about 15 or so people that yep. comprised both clubs, and we attacked restaurants from Burlington over to Linfield, down to Stoneham, and up to Andover, and um, you know we were and beyond, and beyond, <laughs> and beyond. I think we've got a few that reached out out beyond that area. But um, Kelly's it was roast great. beef was here. Pardon me. Kelly's roast beef was here. 
They yeah, were. Yeah, they're up in Saugus. They were up in Saugus, so. and yeah. they came down. I mean, that's 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 impressive. Right. Okay. Now, and this isn't their first year either. They've been here before. Right. So. It's uh, it, it was I. This is my first year, and I was. Where impressed. have you been? We've had been here for five years. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Six. 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 I wasn't yeah. in this town at that time. Ah. But this is what I'm trying to say is that this has been very very impressive. Um, the food is great. The people are great. The presentation has been great. Uh, everybody I've talked to, people sitting at chairs and tables and saying, boy, this is good, you know? I gotta go back to this restaurant, or I gotta go back to this place here. This is good food. And it has been. It's been, it's been very, very, took a lot of work from the three years to put this together. Absolutely, yeah, it's great for the restaurants to really take time out of their, out of their days and their busy nights to come out here and, you know, uh, serve, serve the people here and, you know, donate all the food, and, you know. That we definitely appreciate the restaurants coming out and doing their part. So we definitely we had a couple of head chefs in here. Tonight. Yes. They 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 sent they didn't send the 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 line cook. They sent the head chef down. So that's that's impressive. That that's very impressive for them to do that. And we have, I'm sorry, Priscilla. Go ahead. <laughs> we have a, a few new restaurants that joined us this year, and some that have actually uh, changed hands, changed management on um, like Priscilla's Casino. Uh, they didn't change management, but they changed the name and their fair and uh Lars 909 is now catering especially yes, in the yes. catering business i had some of their haddock oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i heard about their roast beef yes. oh the roast beef and haddock and greg came down and gave me some i was doing some interviews and in between i was yep. munching away on that there the gentleman with the chocolate was just absolutely oh, the chocolate, truffle. Chocolate, truffle. Chocolate, truffle. chocolate truffle yeah, was yep. just I mean, that was to die for. Yep. Um, I had to go back and sneak another piece as he was wrapping up. I said, please. <laughs> <laughs> I got down and bed knee for that one. Yeah. But uh, it's been good. It's, it's been good. A lot of, uh, it goes to a good class. Rotary does a, a, a real good job. We do. We, um, we have a lot of projects in the, in, the, in the town that we support. I just ran a report, actually, off of our database. We've given away a quarter of a million dollars over the last six years. Very um, impressive. So, um, this is part of what our fundraising is. We've had auctions. We have um, road races. You guys have done a lot of um, in Reading, in North Reading. They've done a lot of different things, and you know, between the two clubs, we we're an integral part of the community and the budgeting that is going away. If people can start to look to the Rotary clubs. I got a challenge for you. This is great. This has been really good. I mean, good food. Good people, good music from the young high school kids out here. That's right. Great. So what can he ask? Good people, good food, good music. You can't ask for anything better. I can't ask for anything better. What are you going to do for next year? You're going to improve this? You're going to offer it? <laughs> we'll you got it. We'll do it again. Yep, we do, do it, it again. again. Yeah. We'll, we'll see where, where it takes us. I mean, we had 27, I think, restaurants here this year. Um, I think that our goal is to kind of create a even larger um, selection of food choices and, and you know there was a lot of people I don't know about you guys but there was a lot of people that I spoke to this was their first time like yourself yeah. mm -hmm. um, and people that talk about how this is a well-kept secret and, and <laughs> that part to me is, is incredible because we spent a, a lot of time trying, trying to keep a secret that's right, that's we right. try to communicate this all over the place and, and so it small really towns works like well. Reading and North Reading it's difficult to get to everybody but once the word gets out, the word gets out, and you'll find that there's going to be a lot more people next year. I hope so. Uh, listen, thank you very, very much. Again, great work, great job you've done. Uh, it's going to be hard to top it, but I've got a challenge for you. Let's see if you can top it. Okay. We'll, we'll try, and thank you guys thank for you so coming and, and taking on the challenge of, of videoing most of the participants here. We appreciate that, and that'll get the word out to the rest of the community. We hope, sincerely hope that we didn't miss anybody. There was, a, there was just so much to videotape mm -hmm. and so many people to interview. I hope we didn't miss anybody. Thank you again. Thank you very, thank very you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, this has been a great time. I don't know about you, but oh, I'm, I'm headed for the treadmill after this. I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to eat for a while. No midnight snack for me tonight. What a variety. That's, oh, that's the, that's the whole part, thing. I and I had food that wasn't, you know, you come to one of some of these things here and you say, well, yeah, the food's all right. And, you know, it's cold and you know, whatever. No, it wasn't. Everything was just absolutely spot on. Right. The chocolate was to die for, and you went down and did the interview with the chocolate factory. I had to beg them to give me a piece of chocolate afterwards. Yeah. And the ice cream was great. I uh, the ice cream. Just, uh, I had haddock and a roast beef and haddock that was just absolutely to die for. Where was that from? That was from Laurie's, uh, Laurie's 90, 909. 909. Oh, it was, it was yeah. great. I was impressed with the high school. 
Yes. That impressed yes. a lot out of me. Yes. That they do food like that now, that not like we had. Oh. No. Uh, no. I, I brown bagged at the school. I no. didn't eat the school lunches. But I had to cry and I said, no, no, no. So I brown bagged it when I was a kid. Yeah. Of course, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's another, another year. Another year and it's been a great time. Yeah. Listen, I thank you. It's been great working with yeah, you and I'd love to do it again. You too. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're just going to call that a wrap. That's it from RCTV at the Hawksfield House, Taste of Metro North. <laughs>